You go ahead, just because you're gonna get to this later. You got your peaking zebras, histogram, markers, smooth slow motion, last scene that you shot. All this stuff that's in this one, okay, all of them work the same. Once you get one down, you just have to figure where it is on another one. Okay. Okay. Your gain, see, video cameras or uh, whatever, they use gain uh, instead of uh, ISOs or whatever. Your shutter screen, white balance, this, this, all this stuff I'll tell you later. Okay. But let's put it, you have to put this thing together. <laughs> okay. Here's your, your lens. Here's your buttons here on. Your audio, input, output, two-channel audio. Here's the audio levels. Turn it off and on. Menu, whatever. This is to play back the movies. Okay? And you have this that fits on here. And what is that? This is for the microphone. How that work? Is this the one that's going on here? No, it doesn't look like it. It looks like it's too big. No, no, no there you there. go. But it goes somewhere else, too. That's what this cheese plate is. You screw it on here and place it where you want it to be. But I'm going to show it to you right there. So this goes into here. The microphone goes in there. Okay. They have a little thing here. Actually. And your you come around here. There's something to hold this for. It's another one too. There's two to go in here. And on this side, you see that? Yep. Turn the plugs in. Professional shit. That's why you see. Now what's going on here? Oh, there you go. I mean, it's all work and it clicks. I heard that click. Okay. And this stays on here better, but I'm going to put it in another way. We're going to put the battery in here. Now, here's a 35 to 56, 18 to 55. Now, this ain't double. ASPC, this is a cinema chip. So 18, it's 18 wide or 55. It's a zoom lens. Okay. So I'm going to put this either. Put the bottom battery in there. Out of there. And you just click it. Okay. Battery click. And then if you turn the power on, Sony, one and only. Now, the way this thing works, I'm going to take this off of here because we have a cheese plate. This is your thing for you to look at when you're out in the field. You have to have a sun, I mean, a, a sun thing to keep the sun out there. So this clicks on that, and you look at it through there. Look in there. I'm sorry. I should point it to something. So this, this goes up here and it's, it tightens. Which one? Is it? Right here. That tightens just to where you want it. So when you're shooting, you set this here, you get it where you want it. Now I see you real good. Or if you don't want to use this, you take it off. So this is yours. Throw this in the bag. What's and the benefits of using that? Just yeah, if you're standing out in the sun and okay. sun hitting your screen, you can't see. Right, it. can't see it. Right, okay. Yeah, so but it's... if you're in a in a studio or something, then you, you, you don't need it. Right. And then this flips this way, or you can flip it this way and look down on it like okay. this. I'm gonna fix the thing here because there's something else. So this is your cheese plate. I got the other stuff for that. I don't know why this is so loose. Why are you so loose? I don't know. Hmm. 
I have another one of these things that the thing sits in and slides in here. So it don't have to be inside here if you don't want to. But you see it works. That's what it does. I don't know why it's so loose, but let me see what else I have over here. So that's the eyepiece. This is for other bad, um, this is a Sony camera. So I think one of these is a Sigma. And for it to fit on this one. Is that adapter? Yeah. No, this this is for a Canon. So I threw it in here. This in. Because most of your guys shoot with Canon. Canon, right. And so they can That's what the put schools this on use. there. And so this what this uh this is a Sony. And this is a Sony. And this is a 1.8. Jesus, 50 millimeter. 1.8. The lower you can get down the number, the better it does for light. Okay? The more light you can put in it. Where's the die? Come on. I'm looking for the little dot. There it is. See it right there? Mm-hmm. The white dot. Yeah, and see the white dot? You have to line it up. Mm-hmm. This is a real good lens. Almost feel like this is a real good lens too. This is a zoom lens though. This is just a 50 millimeter. This would be your standard lens. Now, why ain't I seeing anything? You got the cap on? Thank you, Kevin. There you go. Thank you. Oh, look at that. That autofocus. Watch this. Now, this motherfucker. Now, Sony has the best autofocus in the industry. So, you see your flowers there? Let me go. Can you hold it up? A little bit. I'm trying to get it where it blurs. Boom. Oh, man. See, I see that. Yeah, I went from blurry to focus. And this is shooting 24p, and the same thing with here. This is how you, there's different ways you add gain. Um, so this is more of a handheld instead of, yeah. This is more of it's a, a more of a studio type camera that you want to go and shoot on location with two cameras set up. When you come in here, they know you ain't no bullshit. <laughs> but you know it's shooting HD. Right. But what do they know? See, wait, matter of fact, while you were doing that, I'm gonna go back over here right quick. So the so the center version of this is is um, something that we may be able to get access when we go to the Sony HD MC thing because they let us practice on their prosumer or their pro professional stuff. Mm -hmm. But they need to have that once they leave the uh, the workshop. Right, and they need to know everything on here. And be able to, to capture and, 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 and produce a product. And so I just captured something. Turn that off. And see right in here is where you play back. And there's a little arrow right there, play. See that little arrow? Mm-hmm. You hit play. 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 Come on, play. On standby, why we ain't playing? Something about this, you have to do the mid index. Okay, there it is. You have to hit the index and it loads all your movies. Okay, and we want that movie. That's where the arrow's at. Then you hit play. MC thing, because they let us practice on their prosumer. So, so the whole point of this is a learning process for you to learn. It has a chip in here, but I think it's only 32. So you need to go buy a bigger chip, bigger chip. Or 128 or 256. My other camera, I have only 256. Right. So if I were starting them off to be able to do, just say, B-roll second camera, this would be the, the, the one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because this, this, this is 4K, 
This is HD. Right. So they would, yeah, so this would be the one if I had somebody who was less skilled, they would just, you know, use this well, one. Well, this one has more stuff in it, though. So, so this camera, when it was new, was like a $10,000 camera. Okay. So it's just, it's just older now. Right. So now instead of doing, because they still sell it. You go to eBay and go over there, you say, oh, God, he gave me that for this? Yes. Um, but what this is, is that all the way the dials are set up, you'll see it's exactly like the Panasonic. They just named a little different. Once you learn one, you learn first how to produce the camera. And see, mm -hmm. to me, the way I learn is go outdoors. I got a guy who bought Shane's camera two and a half years ago. He still haven't pressed the button on it. He still read the button. He want to know how. I said, man, why don't I just go outdoors? This we want right out there right now and press the fucking button. He won't do it. He, I got to know how this works, how this do. Mm, yeah. Huh? And he, and he is a seventy-year-old guy. Okay. Said, well, yeah. That ain't gonna ever work. What yeah. you gotta do? You got all these. I gotta produce. Problems. I gotta produce product, man. I gotta produce something that I can actually see. And so this, this is your audio level. See that? Okay. So, okay. Okay. Now I'm gonna get this cheese plate to put this thing on here. Where it don't. See, so that's your audio here, playback, uh, execute, power. So the cheese plates go over the, um, goes this over that? this. Watch, I'm going to put it on here. I left the screws in here. And you just get, I, I gave you an Allen wrench. And these come off. So what's the cheese plate for? They call it, um, uh, making a cage. Is to add accessories. They okay. all screw into this, so you can add all kind of stuff to this. Okay. So what if you want other than uh, other than the, the what's that? Other than that microphone, how would you put anything else on here? Right, right, right. So you take this, line it up. Now you got all these holes that are standard holes for every piece of equipment that they're made in that you can put what you want on here. Okay. Right, so it's the accessory extension. And I have another pole here that goes because it has a handle on it. But what happens on here with that long thing, so that works fine with this. Yeah, I got another one of these. And they screw. I put something here because I have something, I think a little light, that the bottom of the light is this screw. And you screw it up there and you can put anything on these. This is what they call tricking your, your, your shit out. Right, 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 right. So right, you right. have a cage. Yeah, here, so I'm going to take. So here, put your camera, put your lens down. 